What? I'm in my bathroom trying something that I saw on TikTok? This has never happened before. I am sure you guys have seen the trend going around on TikTok where you try to get like 70s hair. Um, and if you haven't, why the fuck did you click on this video? Here's the thing, I've seen more and more people doing the trend and they always start the video just at the point where the curls are already done and then they like brush through it and flip their head upside down and then it's like a blowout. Like, I know how to flip my head upside down. I need to know how y'all are actually curling it. I can't find any, any videos with that, so we're just gonna wing it. Starting off with heat protectant because... Ah, I just sprayed that in my face. Hopefully this goes better than the last time I curled my hair in here. My general consensus after watching all the videos is that you you want just the curls to go up like that. Let me start in the front just to see if I can get it how it looks in the front, but then I'm going to move to the back. I don't know what size this is. I never curl my hair like this. I don't just clamp it on the ends and then roll it up. So this feels very wrong to me. I don't think that's correct. I mean, also, I don't have bangs slash fringe, so... And I don't know if my hair is long enough for this. So we really just have um, no indicators that this will work. But I'm trying it anyway. Because that's what life is. Okay, so that's more, yeah, that's more like what she had in the video. I'm so impatient when it comes to my hair. Like, I'm bored already. I was watching this thing on YouTube the other day that was like a time lapse of Karen Gillian getting her makeup done for Nebula in um, Avengers. Bless her soul. I don't know how she does that. Oh, that bitch was in that chair for like, I don't even know how long. Spent like a whole work day's worth of hours in that chair and then went and did a whole work day. What? I'm not even gonna be started on when Jim Carrey played the Grinch. Y'all know he had to be trained by Navy SEALs for that? <sighs> I also don't even know if she used this kind of curling iron. I know that I should be sectioning my hair, but... <laughs> Just like the last time I curled my hair in a video, I'm probably gonna wash it immediately after this. So I really don't care how it turns out. I just wanna know if I can do this. You know, I wanna know if I have this in me. And then if I do, you know, maybe I'll take like an Instagram picture. Oh gosh, this chunk is too big. She says if she does it anyway. Nobody comment on my roots. I know that I need to redo them. How's everyone feel about getting vaccinated? I don't know about you guys. Let's get let's get really real for a moment. Every time I hear people talking about how like the end of the pandemic is nearing, which like first off, I'll believe it when I see it because how many times have we fucking heard that already? Also, I get like anxious when I hear that because I'm like, I didn't have a life in the first place. It's been nice to live in a world where no one has a life for the past year. Everyone's gonna be doing shit, and I'm still gonna be living as if quarantine never ended, because I don't do things. I never did do things. I would be willing to bet you a whole lot of money. Well, a whole lot to me, an unemployed <laughs> recent graduate, so. A whole lot to me is like three figures. But I'd bet you that much that this is not going to work. If they all were turning out like that, I'd have more hope. I really like how that one turned out. Oh my gosh, speaking of hair and YouTube. Do you know that Guy Tang is on like some reality show? Which I only know because Trixie and Katya watched it. And I was like, is that Guy Tang? You know what we should talk about speaking of reality is the Hype House show. I hate Netflix. I truly don't know why I still have Netflix. That's a lie. I have it so I can rewatch Criminal Minds. Every show that I've ever loved, ever, Netflix is like, oh, you like this? It's like, we're gonna cancel it. But then they're like, let's have 15 fucking seasons of 13 Reasons Why and a million different kissing booths. And now we're giving the Hype House a show. It's just absolutely bonkers mental love. Netflix is scared of good content. I'm a very passive person, like I'm the most passive, I hate confrontation, but if I ever get my hands on the executive at Netflix that made the call to cancel the OA, I would end up in jail. I feel like I'm doing math every time I try to remember which way to curl it. Oi, oi, oh my. You didn't see that. Can you kiss me, mom? Kiss me, mom, baby, I like the way you move. 
But like Doja Cat was so right with that song. Like I really do feel like fucking something. And I'm not picky at this point. Literally whatever. I'm gonna touch dark homies doing out there. I know that everyone who's been in a relationship while quarantine is like, it hasn't been sunshine and rainbows, like it's tough to live with your, like to be stuck inside with your partner for that long. And like, I get that. I'm sure it is. I'm sure you guys like fight, but like, how much sex have you had over the past year? I don't know what human touch feels like. And I have friends that are dating. That'll be like, yeah, I went on a date last week with like someone from Tinder or something. And I'm like, y'all are dating? Like this shit is still going on. We're still in this thing. I'm like a week away from being fully vaccinated. I want to try my hardest to maintain my standards. <laughs> Post quarantine, I've always had standards. I don't really date. I also feel like the first time I'm out, like at a bar after being fully vaccinated and then waiting two weeks because you know, you have to let the vaccine sink in. I will make out with the first thing that moves in front of me. PSA, shortly after completing this filming, I watched Promising Young Woman and must now amend my previous statement. I will never be speaking to a man again. Where are all my other, my, my, my people who have been single for all of quarantine? How are you feeling? Are you gonna try and keep your standards up? Or are you gonna fuck the first thing that moves? I know there's a lot of space in between, but like, I tend to be a very black or white person. <laughs> Do I feel this video of me curling it, my hair turned into me talking about dating? But I just like don't fuck with dating apps. I never have, I don't think I ever will. Partially because, as previously mentioned, I watch a shit ton of Criminal Minds. And like, I need to have met someone in real life and like confirmed that they're not a murderer. Okay, well I mean like that's tough because like you really never know if someone's a murderer, you know, like they're, they're best friends and they're significant others never know. But I just feel like if I meet up with someone from Tinder, I'd be more nervous that they're a murderer than if it was someone that I just met organically. Does that make sense? I listen to all the podcasts, I know that like you could be with someone for fucking 50 years and then find out they were a murderer the whole time. But the other thing, and I think even more than the murderer thing, is like when you go into a conversation with someone on a dating app or when you meet up with someone on a dating app, you go into that knowing that you're both already attracted to each other, right? You know that you both went on that app to try and find someone to fuck. And that takes a lot of the excitement out of it for me. When it's just like a friend of yours or like someone that you meet organically and you're like, oh my god, they're so hot and I wonder if they like me. Like that's part of the fun is that wondering. When it's from a dating app, you you know they want to have sex with you, and that's like not exciting. I don't know. Maybe I'll be alone forever because of that. I just want my life to be like a movie. Is that too much to ask? I have so much hair in the back of my head. I'm getting pissed off. I'm going late tonight. R.I.P. That pussy. Okay, I'm redoing some of these front pieces because I just like don't like how they turn out. I really should have sectioned my hair for this, but you know what? I'm sorry, Brad Mondo. I don't even know if Brad Mondo reacts to curling videos. I just, whenever I'm doing anything with my hair, in my head, just say I'm sorry, Brad Mondo. Except do people not like him anymore? I feel like Brad Mondo is like, not, not it anymore. I don't know, I've seen some things on TikTok of some other hairdressers talking smack because he uses overtone, which like, I just burn my finger. Brad Mondo would never. That didn't do anything. That literally just fell out like a normal strand of hair. I'm gonna throw myself off a fucking cliff. First chance I get. Oh, I watched that movie Crimson Peak last night with Tom Hiddleston. It's like one of those that I've wanted to watch for years, but like I wanted to watch it just enough that like if I saw it on a streaming service, I'd be excited, but not enough that like I would go through the rigor of, you know, having to look it up illegally. Which I would never do. Piracy is not a victimless crime. Um, but it's finally on Netflix, so I watched it. And, um, gotta be honest, I was pretty underwhelmed. I mean, Tom Hiddleston's butt looked great. And the cinematography was beautiful. I loved the whole aesthetics of it. I loved the costumes, but... The story just didn't really do it for me. Sorry, Guillermo. I love Shape of Water. I don't think it's done, but I am done. You know what I'm saying? Like the hair isn't done, but my spirit is done. <laughs> okay, I guess we're gonna... God damn it. Fucking do that. I can't even see the mirror right now. What's happening? Am I making them all go away? This feels perfectly straight. All right, ready? Jesus, okay. Get a 
this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try something else. And then if this doesn't work, I'm gonna give up because my, I don't think my hair can take much more heat. I'm gonna curl these chunks while I can't see them. There's not a single flaw in this plan. It's going to go perfectly. Anybody else kind of like the smell of burnt hair? Like, I know I shouldn't, but like, something about it takes me right back to middle school, you know? I don't even know if I'm looking at the camera right now. That piece is stick straight. Literally stick straight. If anybody who's done this and like had success would like to tell me how to do it, that would be greatly appreciated. Alright, shall we try again? Nope. It does flip out the bottoms, but that's about it. I'm making it worse. I'm really just making it worse. Okay, I really should stop before my hair just fucking breaks off, but... Um, that was almost bad. Should we do a side-by-side -side with the original TikTok? <laughs> so needless to say, this was a flop, um, but if you join me on this flop journey, thank you so much for being here. Um, it didn't work. If you clicked on the video and then skipped to the end to see if it worked, it didn't work. But I sure happy we went on this ride together, you know, because like it is the climb. There is always going to be another mountain. And sometimes you're going to have to lose. I mean, this looks like I didn't even curl it. Can someone please tell me what I'm doing wrong in vivid detail and maybe drop a tutorial? I'd greatly appreciate it. Well, guess what? I just spent how much time on this? Just about 40 minutes on this and look what I'm about to do with it. We're right back where we started. Was that in an extremely goofy movie or a goofy movie? Quick question before we go. Do you guys prefer a goofy movie or an extremely goofy movie? Because they're both excellent. But personally, I think I prefer an extremely goofy movie because I like the soundtrack more. But the soundtrack of the first one slaps as well. Let me get my not so 70s hair down for this song. I mean, it has volume. I'll give it that, right? I don't know what it says about me that when I think of like 70s and disco, I think of an extremely goofy movie. Now, you know what else I think of is that scene in Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed where they go to the club where all the villains hang out. That's what I think of when I think of 70s and disco. <laughs> Anyone who insults Scooby Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed, I don't want in my life. The first one you can insult, but the second one? I mean, at this point, I'm just wasting my own and your time. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, Next time, I don't think we're going to be in my bathroom because I can't, I can't do another fail. I don't have that in me. I'm going to go cry in the shower now. Um...